Hey guys, um, this is the GoBong game from Fox Mines. If you guys have followed my blog, then you guys know that I love Fox Mine games and I've reviewed several of them. So this is one that is, it's said to have many different ways to play it. And that it's supposed to be simple, which is what's supposed to be making it even more fun. Um, because of its size, it is also a great travel game. So um, let's open it up and take a look. Now, this game is a brain-challenging game. So... Um, it's supposed to be really, really fun um, because of that. And, of course, it has a little pamphlet with all sorts of different Fox Mind games in here. Um, this one I reviewed, and I absolutely love it. And they have several, several ones. And so this is just a few of them that they've put together in the little pamphlet um, that comes in the little package. Now, of course, it's going to bring the instructions and then it brings the game key, the, the game thing. Now... Okay, so now these little um, ball-like things that you see in here, they don't fall out, so there's no risk of losing anything, which is another reason why it's a great travel game, um, aside from the size of it. So basically what you do, it's um, you can play like solitaire with it, um, Solitaire the Six Queens, Solitaire Knight, and of course the Solitaire Jumping Game. And then of course the name of the, the game that gave this game its name, which is Go Bong. And Go Bong is a two-player logic game. And the object of the game is to be the first one that presses the last bubble down in a row. So you have to start with all the bubbles unpressed. And so like right here, they're all unpressed. And the first player can press as many bubbles as they wish as long as they're on the same horizontal or vertical line. So you can't, this is not like bingo where you could play it diagonally. No, you have to go either vertically or horizontally. Um... On their turn, the second player selects a line. Now, it can be the same line that is used by the previous player, and they can press as many bubbles as they wish as long as they're on the same horizontal or vertical line. Now, the player that presses the last bubble of the grid is the one that wins. Um, so, so, for example, um, if, like, I were to go first and I were to press the first four bubbles in this line then see how they're they're pressed so then player two takes a turn and player two decides that they want to go down this way okay and they've pressed all of them except that last bubble down there then it's player player one's turn again so now player one, what they're going to do is they are going to start, let's go on the second line up, and so on the second line coming up, and I will press this one, this one, and this one. Now, because I've pressed this one, it's the last bubble in that grid, I automatically win. 
However, if I wanted to press, for example, I won't press that one and I just wanted to press three and then player two comes along and they press this one, then they would win because that's the last bubble in that grid. So you, you basically you just keep pressing like that and if you want to, um, if all of these get pressed, let's say, if all of these were to get pressed, then you want it and you want to rematch, then all you need to do is just flip the game board over and you see your bubbles are up and then you just start playing from that side again. So see, it's really cool. Um, like I said, it's a great card trip game. I really like that there's nothing to lose. So that makes it ideal. Um, I love popping bubbles. So this is something that even just to relieve stress is a great little game for me. But I definitely recommend it. And because of its size, it's a great little stocking stuffer. Um, and it would make a great holiday gift.